Hello everybody, in this video I wanted to talk about nested while loops. So just like the if statement, we can nest a while loop. So in the previous video, I don't still have the uh, script, but what we did was we had a, an if statement and we said something like if score is greater than 100 or, some, or less than 100, then we said something and then we had an, a second if within this if. And the only way this one would be tested is if this one ran as true. Well, the while nested loop works kind of the same way. So here, let me clear this out, and we'll create a while. First, let's create a score, and let's assign it our score is zero, and let's create money, 10. Now let's create a while loop. While score is uh, less than 10. Sorry. I didn't mean to press enter there. Print. Hey dude. Your score is too low. And then we can have a second while within this. So while money is greater than ten, uh, 9, greater, let's go greater than or equal to 10, so that way we have the correct numbers to make things more clear. I need to work on my typing skills here. You need more monies. All right, so now, before we execute this, always, always, always check to see if you're going to have an infinite loop because that will completely, utterly destroy our program. See, score is currently set to zero. And then we have it to where it's going to print, hey dude, your score is too low. And it's basically just going to print that over and over and over again because we don't have anything to change that. So let's just, for uh, simplicity's sake, give them a free point. Score equals score plus one. And if you don't understand how this works, check out my video over the while loop. Then we have a nested while within our first while. That means this one is only going to be tested if this one tests as true. So if score is less than 10, it will do all of this and then proceed to the second while. Same for this, we need to have a money is Uh, let's say money, we will subtract money. So let's say money is assigned the value money minus one. So now, the way this while loop works, as score goes up, money is going to go down. I'm sure there's e other ways we could do this, but this is just for illustration's sake of a nested while loop. So let's see what happens when we try this out. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. Okay, so let's let's see here. It says, hey dude, your score is too low. So the first time, hey dude, your score is too low. And then score equals score, or is assigned score plus one. So score is zero. And then while money is greater than or equal to 10, you need mo monies and money minus one. So the first time through, it tested it and it said oh your score is too low so let's increase that one and then oh your money is greater than or equal to 10 let's subtract that to 9 right here that's what this line did now you don't have to worry about this anymore because it's no longer greater than or equal to so now it stays at 9 you see what I'm saying and the other one continues to go on until it is uh, greater than 10 so now your score is going to be uh, 11, I believe. So let, let's try it. Or 10. So let's see. It, while Okay, so if score... Okay, so score would have to be less than 10. So 10 would work perfectly fine. So that's an example of an if statement. Or a while, uh, nested while loop. So we could do something else. Such as if while is greater than or equal to 10. 
you need more monies. And then we don't have to do anything, so it'll just say it. So that's just another thing we could do. We can have ifs within while loops. And that's uh, just the basics. Uh, I know this example wasn't exactly super practical, but <laughs> I just wanted to show you that it is possible. So in the next video, we will be talking about nested for loops, hopefully.